it does really odd. So if anyone's got a link to it, or put it in there, like, ah, the people who liked it, if it's in your liked videos, could you try sending me the link and I'll know, even though no one's here yet, so that's a bit awkward. So I have to say it again when someone comes out. Okay, so I'm with Ben Mule again, and uh, yeah, we just not long, we went for a drink after the park, and I, as, like, just as a, uh, what do you call it, like a reassurance, where is everybody? Just as a, as a reassurance, Hatton is, was safely out of the park. Um, like by the time we left, hi, whoever is there. Um, yeah, so Hatton is safe because I saw her leaving, like unmolested by police or anybody else. That was great. And yeah, as I was just saying, sorry, I'm gonna repeat myself now for anyone who's watching it later. If you were on my live stream earlier and you clicked the like button, would you please look in your liked videos and send me the link in my comments section because I think I accidentally deleted it. Send me the link because even though it won't show up, I will see the link. Hi, Mohammed Hamdan. Hi, Dragon. Dragon, would you mind having a look for that stream earlier in your liked videos or whatever and sending it because I got a feeling I ended it incorrectly and then it's now abandoned the stream and I thought it had started a new one. Anywho, Ben, did you have any on-camera debates and how did they go? I debated three Muslims. Um, what was the topic? Move, move, move your camera. Sorry. What was the topic? I debated three Muslims on uh, the topic of... I'll tell you in a minute, Dragon. Um, so one second. I debated three Muslims on the Bible and Jesus. Nice. They never want to defend Muhammad. So, Dragon, what's happened is... When I ended the last stream, I thought I ended it all correctly, which I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, Dragon said Shalom, by the way. Oh, yeah. um, and He said Aya. And um, yeah, then when I looked at my phone the next time, it said, are you sure you want to abandon the stream? As if I was about to make a new one. So I just said, yeah. And now I can't find the stream. Normally it says, you're a very odd bunny. Uh, sometimes, normally it says processing, but I can't see it at all. Cause I wanted to check through for who did the super chat, but I will know that by my settings. Anyhow, I hope everybody's very impressed with Ben's upper arms. Um, yeah, so Ben debated three Muslims on the divinity of Christ in the Bible. I started, well, if you, you'll know if you were seeing the live chat earlier, I started debating a little mini. I wanted the stream to be present on my, I'm, de I'm actually a bit ticked off at that because some people like to watch it later. Anyhow, like me, basically, because there was stuff in there that I wanted to maybe clip out like not edit out but make a new video of anywho i started with him paul came and had a little hissy fit i think he called me a prostitute at one point maybe he would know <laughs> i don't know what he does in his spare time with the uh, sailors anyway so i know that's bad but that's how i feel he's really catty and he's really i'm not a young boy so i'm not in his uh, category of who he has to be nice to anymore he used to be um so yeah i'm a bit upset at that so if anybody <laughs> i'm not reading it <laughs> blood fire i love you bro <laughs> but never go into public relations um i mean i'm not going to go in there either i'm just going to do stuff for jesus yeah he's driving safely i'm safely um like side passing during not 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 driving sadly i don't know what the fuck oh backseat driving that's the one that's what paul does <laughs> uh, okay let's get off oh yeah i got called a homophobe which isn't even the right way to say homophobe but um i mean yeah i got a few insults today blood fire you're you because you were missing i took the flak i got um the standard you know like ad homs I mean, they definitely refuted Jesus by calling me a crackhead. I mean, as I mean, it's clearly the Bible can't be true then. Um, yeah, it's pretty pathetic, but it means actually it means um, that I'm having an effect on them because if they want to quickly silence you before you get to say anything. But then I was debating an 11 and a half year old with like a bit of bum fluff, and Paul kept rushed in because it was a young boy. I'm going to say it out loud. I just said it. Um, yeah, he he rushed in like the charge of the light brigade like Florence Nightingale to rescue this <laughs> wonder why because he also tweeted this like he's a little 
I'm live again. The Holy Spirit just stepped in there. But yeah, he's all, he's been a couple of different Christian denominations in his past, in between Oki Koki and with the Quran. Uh, that's the in out bit for anybody. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, they kill me. it's blood fire, man. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, I apart from that little debate, I did a massive live stream that now potentially has been deleted. To shut your mouth. Uh, went out for a pretty decent. Um, had a little half, like a little small meal and a drink quickly, and then um, it is time. Like probably JC's still there. I mean, Bob was doing his opening comments, so he's probably still in the middle of them. Um, in his jumper, jumper. Um, but yeah, what, what you got to say, anyone? I can't believe that if I've deleted that, I'm devastated. Yeah, exactly. Well, because Bloodfire, yes, because you weren't there. Now, apparently, I am also partaking of the uh, the free based cocaine. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it must be true if they say it, surely they wouldn't be lying. I mean, isn't that against the religion? Oh, no, it's not. No, that's us. So yeah, keep telling the truth about Mohammed and uh, you'll basically be insulted. I shouted out to Ali. Ali was trying to call the police. He sent someone over to the police because clearly she's like a massive threat at five foot tall to him. And uh, the policeman just said, yeah, send him over. Um, but he, he's <laughs> like whining to the old bill. And I, I just shouted out, it's not a crime, Ali. It's not a crime. What is a crime is sleeping with an eight year old. What is a crime is allowing your eight year old daughter to get married and then this guy started on me did he call me a crack yes he called me a crackhead as well there must be an email going around so i said he looked like a crack dealer and it all descended from there his little daughter who only noticed after a couple of like a minute was really anxious saying daddy daddy please please daddy and he basically ignored her comfort to keep on insulting me and even this little girl was like and he had her in a hijab she was in a hijab like in case any men are sexually like uh, titillated by her presence uh, anyhow, so that's that went over. Um, you guys on the chat, I don't know if you're talking to me, Mohammed Hamdan. Uh, I'm not sure. Thank you very much, Dragon, for doing that for me. Yeah, Mohammed, um, the Bible is not only, I mean, the Bible's overarching message is love, either the, the ceaseless, um, like incorruptible love of God towards his chosen, or, um, you know, the love of Christ, the perfect love that is Christ, that uh, that one finds in Christ. However, Christ himself, who is the truth and is, uh, you know, God made flesh, he is not always um, utterly charitable, if that makes sense, because the loving thing to do is to tell people the truth. If it hurts them, you know, Christ has already said we will be hated because they hated me first. The darkness, that's what I got into an argument about. Some guy said I shouldn't talk about Nigerian uh, Christians being slaughtered. But he started, oh, that was it. He was crying his eyeballs out about Hatton with a book and a cartoon. And I said, but bro, if you don't care about, like, uh, the, you know, the Fulani and, the, and Boko Haram and all that slaughtering Christians, don't come to me about a book. All right, get your priorities straight. Um, because apparently, according to some Muslims I speak to, the, the real Quran is not the book. It's just a recitation or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> John, you've got a way with words, love. You really just smash it sometimes. Um, ben is married. I'm not married. We're not married to each other, obviously, because I'm well, unmarried. Well, if, if you look at that comment carefully, he says... Are, are both of you married? I'm not, he is. No, 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 that's not the way he's working. If it. yes, let's pray for Ben. No, no, he no. means us together. Yes, so so if that was the case, you would need to pray for me. Um, but thank God that's not the case. I do every morning, funnily enough, darling. Let's let's keep it a secret. <laughs> no, we're not. No, 100% not. But I mean, it's very sweet how Ben is always very affectionate that's towards me. Good. Never, nice never like you, irking me. Yeah. Ne I am well. Never, never tormenting or teasing me affectionately. It's always like straight up Jesus preaching with Ben, as we all know. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to get a t-shirt. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says, and you can come next. <laughs> That's the catchphrase of the week. Okay, so yeah, hallelujah, exactly. Ben and I aren't married. No, I'm not married to anybody. Well, 
like ministry. No one will take her. What? Are you Yahweh? Do you know the hearts and minds of men? I'll have you know that I get some very pleasant comments from gentlemen. I assume they're gentlemen because I'm cisgendering them uh, because of their names. But yeah, no, I have lots of lovely comments. Uh, my, the vast majority of my viewers, oddly, not oddly, but it just so happens that the ones who have subscribed that I can see their demographic. Yeah, I don't know. Some sort of satanic influence on my phone network. Hopefully it should stay decent for the moment. Um, yeah, if it doesn't, I'll just sign off. But it worked all day pretty well. Um, I'm gutted about that stream. I'm really peed off. I didn't even do two like last week. I just did one solid. Oh, how irritating. Anyway, that's the London skyline. It's pretty decent. I don't know if you can see it properly. Ah, oh, back live. If this keeps happening, thank you very much to the super chat. I missed it because my signal is just irritating the life out of me. Let me see who you are. Oh, it's you, lovey. Um, it, also, Ben, he says, God bless the dynamic duo. He obviously means he and I. And um, yeah, his name is Armour of God. I'm sitting, getting so ticked off at this. She is blatant. Yeah, we do drink wine and what? Jesus said so. Does I'm going to keep it short in case my signal keeps going. It's irritating me. Um, yeah, please do keep refreshing. Um, Chuck, thank you for letting everybody know. It's not you lot, it's me lot. It keeps saying to me, connecting, connecting, connecting. I don't know if it's the, like Ben's vibe. Or <laughs> Look at the face. Look at the face. What a disgrace, as my mother would say. That was a saying when we were kids. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gutted if that stream earlier is gone, although I've said that 18 times now, so I think it must be true. Uh, should we talk Jesus, everybody? I love a bit of Jesus. Um, I eat grapes and drink wine. Okay, you've got brilliant emoji skills, Mohammed, but I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Mohammed has liberated the Jewish and other European races and tribes like the Celts, second class and slaves, throwing the lion's den, why the Roman constitution? Okay, are you arguing against, like, uh, discrimination against other human beings, Mohammed Hamdan? Surely not, if your name, like, has any reflection of your religious beliefs. There's Islamic slavery today of black people and of women who are not necessarily black. So that can't be what you're saying, surely. <laughs> no way. Um, because you're sounding a bit liberal there, lovey. Must just be a takia, ta 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 uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, yeah, chit chat, anyone? Yeah, so anyway, I did a whole massive stream. Oh, I did a persecution vid, only one because of my stream. Here's a bit of BMX skills there. When I say these are, I mean... It's a mountain bike. All right, but it's the skills that were learned on a BMX. Probably not. Pedant. Pedant. Um, I'm just being heckled by my uh, co-pilot over here. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what to chat about. I've been chatting all day and I can't believe I lost that bloody stream. Thank you, Dragon. Keep a note of them for me, Dragon. I'll see them in my settings. This traffic sucks. Armour's a diamond when it comes to stuff like that. Even though Canadian money is not like real life money. I'm joking. <laughs> it's a bit monopoly. Ever since the Romans saw the Celts tribe in Europe, they chased them all around Europe until they went into some escape to UK from... So should we, should we talk about um, enslavement? Should we talk about Mohammed literally taking sex slaves? Surely not. I'm all right, Rory. I'm just about to let this uh, Mohammed, Mohammedan um, know about his hypocrisy. The peso, exactly, the Canadian peso of people kindville uh, up there in liberal land. Um, oh, they've got a catalogue model for a prime minister. Bless him. Justin. In UK. Mohammed, you're going to have to like come with some... Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's talk about Islamic slavery and the verses. See, in the Bible, what we're told is if your servant is also a Christian and you are, you're considering him as a brother. Um, and then after, you know, there are verses that say after six years, pay them and um, I'm not on your server. Do you mean Soko? Come in. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Muhammad. 
upholds that slavery is um, part of the deen, like is is all right. The Bible does not do that. The Bible says neither slave nor free man, Jew nor Gentile, male or female, in terms of a hierarchical structure. What Ben's muscles are saying is irrelevant. Is what, yeah, Dragon, click on the doodah. <laughs> oh, he's gone a bit racker. Good job he's not your brother because otherwise you're not allowed to call him a fool. Um oh, Chuck Canuck. What a name. I love the names. Some people's names are just very comical to me. Armor of God, everyone thinks it's out of some Marvel film or I can't remember now. The Fast and the Furious. Something like that. Oh Chuck Lee. Something like that. It's biblical. But there are no trousers in the armor of God. Just a little side note, which I brought up often because it puzzled me. Um, very bad English, but I know English with it, with no K or W. English people, good tribe. People love humanity, pets and wildlife and work very hard and loyal. Cheers, Mo. Can we get on to Islamic slavery though? Cause you keep like quite missing the point here. The English actually as a nation, we um, were instrumental in the abolition of slavery. Thank you, Dragon. We might have, um, we might have started it as well at some point. But actually we didn't because the Barbary slaves um, far, yeah, predate the empire. Yeah, yeah, but the slave system that they had uh, predated the um, like colonization even the British Empire um, in Babylon, like in all sorts of like old, old places. Christian Patriot, that is a brilliant question. Um, I sent him a message recently because I keep getting asked. Um, as far as I know, I don't want to speak out of turn, but yeah, he stopped coming along. There was a little bit of a hoo-ha at some point. Uh, I think some threats, threats even without an F and stuff like that. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure that would keep him away. So please God, he's got some ministry elsewhere that keeps him busy on a Sunday. He was with DCCI though. So um, this guy, proper tip, sorry. Yeah this one he was apologist for rape the other day he was saying it was the 14 year old pakistani christian girl's fault for being out by herself she was gang raped and uh basically le left in a <laughs> whatever mate anyway yeah what kane hopefully he's got i know i know oh but jesus loves him um yeah you'd you'd be best served actually to comment on dcci and ask hatoon because hopefully she'd be in more of a position to know if that makes sense Okay, so I can't refresh my page, unfortunately. I think it's just this small area of London that we're in at the moment, so that the signal's bad. No, you, you, you. No, I mean for the packet. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so, sorry. I know it's irritating, keep losing the signal, etc. Now I'm just digging in a, basically a Mary Poppins-esque bag. See what skills I've got there. Yeah, Mc Marks and Spencers. I'm um, just free advertising for m and I will have one myself, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. He shaped my friend, likes uh, the Spider Man in the back seat. It's not real, it's a chair. Um, but yeah, I like Spider Man also. Marvel, big up Spider Man and his amazing friends, if anyone remembers that cartoon. I liked Firestar, can you believe it? She had red hair. Um, but yeah. You don't have red hair. I do. You have ginger hair. This is so <laughs> not ginger. How is that ginger? Ginger is orange. You're a ginger. I am a ginger, but yeah, I'm a red-headed person. No, I actually ginger. am. Okay, Essex boy. Your ginger is Garfield. Sure. Sure thing. Your eyesight is going as well as your, like, intellect. Um, Hulk smash in it. He does smash, but isn't he DC? No, because he's in Infinity Wars. Is the Hulk DC? Oh, yeah, but he's not in. Oh, he's in the cinematic universe. Okay. Croydon does so not raw. I'm so sorry that guy in it. But um, Ben, how is your family? How is everything on Discord? Good. You heard it here first. Um, yeah, Croydon. Croydon. Sorry to anyone else in Croydon, but East London rocks. Okay. I like Kane. Yeah. Kane is fearless. Um, thank you, Armour of God. Do you know what, Armour of God? No joke. I uh, 
I was looking through the animated series of X Men recently because I do like a card. I like to just switch my brain off from uni and all of the YouTube and all that, the capital letter rants of the Muslims, etc. At the love that they send me. So I started watching the animated series again of X Men, the original, like 1980s one. And <laughs> there's one episode where there's Canadian, um, like mutant team. It's embarrassing for you, bruv. Bruv, I'd write in, even though Stan Lee's like in bits now. It's not looking good for you, Armour of God. Um, one of them is an owl. That's all I got to say about that. Canadian superheroes were just like. This is pre Ryan Reynolds, obviously, or pre his fame, because Deadpool is amaze balls. But I think even Deadpool's supposed to be American. It's only like the inside jokes where he's Canadian. Wolverine is is top shizzle. I like his healing thingy and his uh, adamantium. I haven't seen the 60s Avengers cartoon. I've been watching the Defenders recently. I was saying it earlier. It's Marvel, it's from a couple of years ago. Um, it's all right. It's a bit of a slow burner. Daredevil's in it, uh, like post Ben Affleck, I suppose, or whatever. But yeah, Umbrella Academy, <laughs> that was good. But you cannot be like Spider Man and his amazing friends. Like, it just reminds me of like my childhood. So yeah. <laughs> Can you read it? Did you know that? No. He didn't know it, now he knows it. Um, Daredevil's, do you know what? That guy in it, Nomad. Um, let me scroll down because I'm missing the comments. Yeah, I never really got on with Daredevil as a solo character, do you know what I mean? Captain London would be, <laughs> how dare you, sir? How dare you? You're part of the Commonwealth, you like, you need to have a bit of respect just because you've got a catalogue model running your people kind. Oh my gosh, your ancestors came out of there, lovey. Disgusting, right? When they, no it's not. Literally is. Well, I, I bet some of them did. Mm -hmm. All right, the people who founded your area. That's okay, so isn't Speaker's Corner? Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's Wick Leoven. Um, Wick, by the way, do you have a faith? I've been asking this guy the same question ever since he started slating like the Bible. He won't answer, he wanted to debate me, but he won't answer one question. However, it doesn't wear you down. So, Wick, in answer to your question, for the first few weeks that I went, which is a couple of years ago now, I found that I lost my voice. I would be fatigued until Wednesday. I was like, it was very spiritually fatiguing. And then, on my brother's suggestion, like my blood brother, I started praying specifically for um, the Holy Spirit to in, like empower me and give me the words to say or speak through me. And uh, after that, it was like miraculous because it was getting to Wednesday and I feel better. And I was like, oh no, like it's only two days away or whatever. So, yeah, uh, um, it doesn't wear you down. No, it's encouraging actually when people rail against you because Christ said they will hate you and anyone who tries to lead, lead a godly life will get uh, a backlash. So that's an answer to your question. Do you have a faith, Wick? I wonder if you're gonna answer me the excitement. I can't take it. Um, yeah, Daredevil. I'm not... Sometimes they miss the mark, Marvel. Now it's gone all like MCU. It's all a bit like, I don't know. I like collaborations though and stuff. Hmm. I'm, I'm waiting for Deadpool 3. Love, love Deadpool. I've seen it so many times. Venom 2 is out next month, by the way. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty looking forward to that. I like Tom Hardy as well. Marvel, that's armor of God. Bro, don't let us fall out. Uh, Marvel is not done. All right, um, you know, Stan Lee has gone a bit debatable, but I know what you're saying, but that's everywhere. Armour of God is saying it's too woke these days, and I agree. Um, Black Power for that was a bit embarrassing. Um, and even in the Defenders the other day, there was just a couple of sentences about the white privilege of the, the Iron Fist and all of that, and I was like, Duh. You're missing comment. Venom is awesome, Shakespeare. Marvel Phase 4, Woke Universe, that's true. Um, um, Marvel is amazing. Yeah, wokeness is a cult, and it's um, it's Antichrist, for sure, because their original sin is racism, if that makes sense, but there's no redemption for it. If you're a certain skin tone, 
you are inherently racist and there is no redeeming or atoning factor. What did you just spray me with, you freak? You mug. I just getting assaulted with like aerosols. What are you saying, bruv? Anyway, Ben thinks I stink. No, no. No, no, I know you better not. Because I don't. Um, yeah, so, all right, I think we've done Marvel, although I'm open. Oh, yeah, the Umbrella Academy was good. That I don't think that was Marvel. I'm racist. Where's I hate everyone. Where's that means you're not racist. Vey? What were you evading? <clears throat> well, that was, that's, we just had a drink with him. No, no. That's the Croydonite. Thanos, is he Antichrist? Does he, okay, hoop loop. Does Thanos admit that Christ is Lord? No. Then, therefore, biblically, he is Antichrist. Sorry, I don't want to, like, I mean, also, he tried to take over the universe and kill half of it in order to, he, he said he was doing it for goodness, but so did Hitler. The problem with Thanos is he tries to portray himself as God, he tries to play God. And he's played when by it, Cable. When, when in reality, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 10 says, there was no God formed before me, nor will there be any after me. So exactly, he, Fan. So Thanos is not God, therefore he needs to repent. Amen. Even with his big glove and his silly stones. Chip. Exactly. He's a, he's a stonehead. That's what I've got, stone hand. That's what I've heard. Press comments. So, yeah, let's press comments. I'm not stressing you out. That's life, darling. Okay, didn't someone in the MCU mock Jesus? Was it Star-Lord? I don't think so. Um, no, I'm pretty sure. I mean, in the defense, I think it's defenders. I noticed they say, oh, Jesus, a lot. But that's not like, you know, was only a man. They don't add that afterwards or anything. He might have, but he had a pretty decent mixtape. I mean, the Bible says it's okay to, you know, as long as he didn't mock the spirit. I don't know how that works for actors who have to blaspheme the spirit as part of their lines. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Thanos okay. claimed he is God with six stones, so Thanos is a stone licker too. So in Infinity Wars and that little series, he is the guy, the anti-hero, who is trying to collect the Infinity Stones in order to... Um, instantaneously destroy whole planets populations in order he says to like enable the rest of them to live like with a it's a bit woke as it goes what like the uh what do you call it the resources like the global warming the universal warming or i don't know but yeah who's thanos he's played by cable who's played by i can't remember his name a very funny guy though and he was also in uh, the goonies so yeah, that was a bit odd because they came out around about the same time. Deadpool 2 and one of the Infinity uh, series. Who is Star-Lord? Star-Lord is from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the human boy whose dad turns out to be a god-ish, like a creator. A uh, hello, hey. Yeah, so that's who Star-Lord is. He's the one with the awesome mixtape. Uh, literally, that's what it's called, I think, on YouTube. If you put in Guardians of the Galaxy. You'll see. He's played, is it Chris Pratt? Yeah. yeah, his name is Chris Pratt, the actor. I don't want to spoil, like suspend or disbelief them. So, yeah, that's that. Any more Marvel related? <laughs> Omni-Man. Truth bombs, who is Omni-Man? Omni-Man, no, I've not heard of him. Is he Marvel? I liked Kitty Pride. I liked Jean Grey when I was younger. Not all women. Like, I, um, I think my best... I liked Rogue, who's also a woman, because she could just absorb other people's powers, but I didn't like that it hurt them when she did it. She, uh, I think it was Miss Marvel, was it? Yeah, she had Miss Marvel trapped inside her, like, in a weird little mind meld that uh, Professor X did for her. I liked Nightcrawler, but I wouldn't want to be blue all the time. So, ah, oh, Mystique. That would be a good one, but just looking like people. John Miller said hi, or hey. Hi, hi. John. Hi, hi, John. Someone with a normal name is unreal. <clears throat> Chris Pratt is a devout Christian. Nice. So that would have been awkward of him if he had to insult Jesus in his uh, betrayal of the Star-Lord. It's think... odd. I don't think he did, to be honest. I've seen that film maybe twice. Uh, no, I don't believe so. I've watched, I recently just watched all of Bob's Burgers <laughs> when I was uh, procrastinating. It's like one of those kind of family guy cartoons that's not really children's viewing. Um, so yeah. Ah, I tell you what I was trying to say earlier but uh, on my stream that now is potentially deleted. If anybody hasn't seen The Chosen yet and you are Christian or you're looking 
like into anything to do with Christian. It's such a well-made, lovely, it's pretty faithful to the original. Do you know what I mean? Like there's some, what's the word, like ad lib or additional information that's not in the Bible. However, you you flip in there. Um, yeah, it's really lovely that Jesus is, like often in films, because there's only an hour and a half or two hours, they, they play up the divinity and downplay somehow the humanity of Jesus. But the Jesus in The Chosen is very well-rounded in terms of his humanity is very visible and quite charming and I think he's a lovely character. So please do watch it, it's free. The first season is on YouTube. You can download the app also. They have behind the scenes stuff and like theological, you know, discussions also. It's really good. I just advise, recommended it to one of my admins who watched it all in like a day. Um, and now he's in the same story position as the rest of us waiting for each episode of season two to come out. But yeah, it's really good. So that's me. I don't get paid by the chosen, by the way. Risen. I don't think I've seen the armor of God. Who's in it? You haven't seen the chosen. Oh my gosh, you're going to love me by the time you watch it. The Marvel Universe make out Thanos is God, but Gooliewood? Hollywood? <laughs> Oh, Antichrist. Do you reckon? Yeah, only a little bit. Well, they're peddling a lot of uh, paedophilic stuff. Um, yeah, they're, they're just gone. I mean, it's this liberal, progressive orthodoxy, really, where you're excommunicated or, like, deplatformed for even having an opinion on, uh, you know, men being men, even if they remove their testicles, etc., just like in Deuteronomy 23.1. But yeah, you're not allowed to question the status quo, which is just ridiculous. I love Jesus of Nazareth as well. I hope you don't mean the film, John. <laughs> I mean the actual, the actual one. Uh, but I think you probably, yeah. Yeah, I think I have. But no, The Chosen is much better. John Miller, you're not wrong, love. You do need to watch The Chosen. No, seriously, anyone who... Like, it's crowdfunded by Christians. It's completely produced by Christians. Jesus is played by a Christian. Um, or most of the cast, I think, are also... Matthew is portrayed so sweetly, like like slightly autistic and very, uh, like, factually orientated and not much social skills and that. Um, all of the apostles are well chosen. Mary as well. Uh, Magdalene. Like they're very it's well cast it's well produced it's not disrespectful it's not wildly speculative it's not you know it's asserting correctly obviously um that christ is divine and there's going to be a seven series so we're only on season two at the moment dallas jenkins is the director he's brilliant he's a christian yeah so check it out we're at friggin bay um we've gone all jewish all of a sudden i'm sure gonna uh, yeah, there were two Jews, two from, uh, Jews at the corner, surrounded. Like, I made sure I put a camera there for a little while just to, uh, I don't know, deter anyone, because they were up against the fence kind of thing. Hopefully they got home okay, because there have been Jews just, like, attacked indiscriminately recently because of all of the events in the Middle East. Uh, yeah, very tolerant, I find, Islam. Religion of peace, you might say. You wouldn't be on your phone there, sunshine. Let it ring. Let it ring. No, you just got a cancel for a moment. Discriminate, you were right the first time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know what to chat. Let's see. Ben's just leaving me to do all the chatting. So we could be married in that respect, but we're not. Have you seen the film Fallen? It's a bit it? old, but sorry. A bit old. Biblical Azazel. Truth bombs, I'm not sure that I have. Maybe I'll check it out. Um, I think my next big film that I'm looking forward to is Venom 2 because I see the trailer and it's just funny. He's, oh, you fudger. Such an Essex boy. <sighs> I'll just keep breathing deeply. Um, I'll make you nervous. Blood clot, as it were. Oof. <laughs> Right, I went all, all, all Jafakin for a minute. Quite nippy though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the open road as we get speeding tickets. Um, I'm not paying, by the way. Um, right, yeah.
Okay, has the government told you to put a chip on your forehead or right hand so that what? you can buy and sell stuff? This is Rory. Why a friggin' they? Uh, I think I must have missed that memo, Rory. No, they haven't. Obviously not. Silly Billy. Um, chosen is real, but you need to download an app to watch it. No, Christian Patriot. You don't actually. So the first season is fully available on YouTube. Is it? Yes. Uh, full episodes, etc. On the Chosen channel. The second season, however, they will put it up onto YouTube and then it's taken down like 24 hours later. So they'll premiere it there. Well, I've been watching the series lately. The guy, Rick, the policeman. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's out, I think, Stepney. Might be. Oh, okay. oh and also, who's the, uh, the, I don't know how far into it, into um, it are you? On the last episode of season one. Okay, so the guy, have you come across uh, the one who's played by Lenny? Have you got the geezer with a stick? He's a black guy. He does kind of like. No. Okay, so when he comes along, he's definitely London as well. Like, it's, yeah, that, I like that. So there's also Fear fear of the Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead. It's like a side spin off. No, I watch people call me satanic for watching a zombie film. No way, I watched that. That's deep. That was all right. I watched Game of Thrones. I've watched me get called satanic. I haven't watched TV ben, for you years. Watch zombies, dead, zombie, oh, Ben, you're a satanic. Yeah, thing. Rory, I get what you're saying. I, I, I realised you were talking about the mark of the beast, but I'm saying the British government has not. No, has just not done it. However, though, Rory, if you consider that your phone is always in your hand or on your head, there is a chip in your phone, so I don't know if... That... I would people say the, the, the vaccine is the uh, mark of the mark beast. Mark of the beast, well, yeah. It, it's not, because if you... Vaccines look, need topping if, up. <laughs> if, you, if you just look at what is in, in relation to the mark of the beast, it says they will neither buy nor sell unless they have Exactly. Them. You can still buy and sell. But they might say to you, you can't go in the shop. And there's but a I don't believe it. historical context yeah, yeah, yeah. to this mark. I don't believe it anyway. Um, ben has put on... Okay. Sorry, no, no, I want to read that. A couple of quids, but he's foreign. I think he means pounds. <laughs> the camera. It's the camera. Um, but he is he's a lovely subscriber of mine. I only saw the first episode of season two. Open secrets, download the app. Don't muck about. I will stream it if I have to into How the server. How dare you comment on my weight? How dare you? It's the audacity, the temacity, the temerity and the outright gall, sir. He doesn't understand you, he's Canadian. <laughs> Sorry. Black shirts. So anyway, he's I'll just try. He's just called me fat. Wow. So, no, no, no. My, I, I said, darling, am I am I putting on weight? She looked me dead in the eye and she said, Ben, I only know five fat people and you're three of them. <laughs> Which means, as we know, his wife is badum walks around with a little drum kit. Just, I heard a boom. Just literally a boom. Oh, I think I have to refresh my doodads. So not fat, just chubby. I'm not chubby. Am okay. I chubby? In real life, am I chubby? No. I always say the camera adds pounds, but then someone skinny comes up next to me. Just... How, how, how much are we? Look. <laughs> he can't breathe at the moment. How much are we? No, you're not. You're not. So, facial recognition. You're chubby. Oh, hang on, I'm reading, Jeff. The internet of thing, that is where you'll lose your identity, potentially. He's already lost, Jeff, in this stream of left-wing dribble. Chubby, I'm a freaking I think the actual Mark of the Beast will, like, obviously it's going to be, I don't think, I mean, actually, though, um, cryptocurrency uh what's his name the big guy bill gates he patented a cryptocurrency and he called it was zero six zero six zero six i wasn't trying to hide comments if he's chubby i don't know i don't know what i don't want to know what people say about thank me thank you i appreciate that now go up to the other ones did anyone else comment on my way christ this king said lol we don't know he might have been laughing at your wife's joke might be the camera Ex exactly armor of god i firmly believe that my camera alone makes people look chug chubby because of me um no, so yeah that's it so ben's what Does that sound oh chubby? gosh Is that, if no, he's no, chubby up, no up. oh look at the paranoia that tea um yeah he go when he comes down to london he has to get the train through so he has a uh, breakfast in London even though he thinks that Croydon is a thing you know unbelievable. exactly unbelievable mm. it's right when it's self-deprecating when you say it and it but like when other people say it, it's outrageous listen I got called a crackhead bro your crackheads are skinny that's only oh yeah <laughs> I should say that next time yeah 
I'm rocking the, uh, what is that? Oh, I can't remember. More. Oh, Jenny Craig Dyer. Uh, oh, yeah, in a crack pipe. Anyhow. Thank you, John McDermott. God bless you. Um, yeah, Jeff, it's all a bit. He takes it back in capital letters. He repented, literally. Mm. Armour of God. Uh, what was I going to say? Thank you, Chloe. Thank you very much. We got some love from America. Thank you, Chloe. Um, yeah, so he's in shape, according to... Thank you. <laughs> ben is not cubby or fat. He's very slim. And the tech is called Luciferase. Oh, my God, can you believe this shizzle? Like, you couldn't make it more obvious if he put a pointy towel and some horns on. Like, liberty taking. And that's why I know he knows what he's doing. I know it's not some, like, accidental coincidence. What's Do you know what I mean? The authorities are here. I don't know. They're... Oh. That looks naughty. Someone... What's going on with a... What? Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, there's a car being burned. That looks like a petrol bomb. How the heck did it get burnt on the outside? And why is it in the middle of that? Oh, I'm going to be looking for that then. Tup, tup. Okay. Yeah, this is welcome to London, everyone. How obvious is it? If you're if you're patenting something 060606 when you could, you've got enough money to patent it whatever number you want, if you know what I mean. Nah, mate. It's too blatant. Geezer's just... Antichrist. But uh, everyone is who says he isn't Lord, so there's a lot of them floating about. I don't say it's the Antichrist, obviously. Really that was right. the first fight I had with Bob or argument. Really grandparents to not get married. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the dogs. It's lovely. <laughs> oh my God, what is she up to? Look, look what's in her hand. Is that BDSM chisel? You see it? Looks like a weapon. I don't know what that is. I have no clue, but she's off to do a photo shoot, though. Um, okay, so let's come back to the chat. Yeah, we are in the hood. We are in London, Londinium. Uh, Samuel Joni, thank you. It's very kind. Um, amen. Jim Bob, were you in the Waltons? No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, Laters are to the Nomad. He's gone under a tunnel. Yeah, it is pretty obvious, but it's insultingly obvious, if you know what I mean. Like, he could at least cover it up a little bit um, and try to... I don't know, man. Like, Satan is that brazen, obviously. Uh, he's got Islam going on to deal with. I don't know, man. It's all a bit... There's the Antichrist. There's... What's the other one? Yeah, there's Satan, the Antichrist. There's three. There's, like, false a prophet. perverse... Tri yes, the false prophet. Boom. Well, we've all... He's been and gone. So, yeah, he's pushing up daisies in the sand, as it were. I think he's up to some massive building, isn't he? They waited, bless them. Like, you know that thing that people in the Far Eastern countries um, are supposed to be buried quickly uh, for just utility purposes and that? I'm sure they waited more than three days for Mohammed because they were checking if he was going to resurrect. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can't make it up, even though they deny the crucifixion. So why would they be hanging about for that amount of time? It's almost as if they know the truth and they just deny it for wickedness. Stop putting your foot down, you lunatic. So, yeah, let me this just. One. Uh, it is this one, yes. So, yeah. Oh, you fudger! <laughs> Alright, I'm not actually. No. Classic. I'm just going to put you down here for a minute, peeps. Because just if the old bill goes past, I don't want to be like, I'm on my phone. And I don't want to be seen to be, like, approving of this driving skill. Please don't go over it like a loon. Thanks. <laughs> Love it. It's the rosary. Oh my God. Exactly. So, yeah. I'm good. Right. Thanks for the super chats. I will. I will. I will. I'm going to look. As soon as I um, get to my computer, I will. I'm going to show you Ben's. Well, go on um, then, off your plop. There's Ben's thingy, rosary, lovely. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, plop off, as it were. I'm going to sign off now, first of all, and make sure I do it so that the video actually stays relevant, like, not relevant, present. Ooh. Pardon? What did they pin? Turn, Stuart. Oh, he's, what? Hosting, he's hosting a debate screen. 
This is a so loud, this, this is one again. Right. It's like Tweedledee. I wouldn't dumb, give dumb, the dumb, view dumb. exactly, <laughs> but look, there's three people viewing and you're one of them. Come out, man. Shh, don't, don't say you're no. I don't care. Anyway, God bless you and keep you. And uh, hopefully, I'll do a prem a bit later. I'm about to stop it. That's why that box is there. Bye. I'll do a quick. I'll do a prem later, and I'll see you all soon. God bless. Lots of love. Bye bye.